Hello everyone, welcome back to a new vlog. So if you saw the video I put up on Monday, which is funny because it's actually Monday for me today, um, so for me I'm putting it up tonight and it hasn't gone up yet, but it will have been up for almost a week by the time you see this. Um, you'll know that I'm changing up the vlogs a little bit. I still at this point don't know what I'm calling the vlogs uh, because it's Monday and I haven't got that far yet. Um, but you'll see in the title, <laughs> when I post this so you know but I don't. <laughs> so yeah I'm not gonna go into loads of detail because I spent like 30 minutes <laughs> explaining it in my recent video so go and check that out if you are confused about what's going on um, but basically the weekly vlogs changing slightly it's still just gonna be vlogs essentially um, but they're gonna have a bit of a different focus. So my day so far has literally just been filming and editing that video that is going up tonight. Um, I really haven't been doing much else, played a bit of Animal Crossing, scrolled through Instagram for a couple of hours but now I'm bored of that and I'm ready to do something else. Um, it's about 3pm, um, it's disgustingly hot in the UK and I'm so not cool with it. Um, I really hate the heat. Um, as you can tell I'm still wearing long sleeves and it's actually quite woolly because I just refuse to accept that it's summer. <laughs> so yeah, the original plan was, well, to film and edit that video, which I have done. And then I was going to get writing the A Good Girl's Guide to Murder review that I'm doing a collab with Charlie on. Um, and I was, like, the original plan was just to start it because I knew that filming and editing the whole video would be quite a lot. Um, but I don't want to do that. <laughs> so instead, I think I'm going to start a new sewing project and I will instead write... A Good Girl's Guide to Murder review tomorrow. Um, I plan to finish most of it tomorrow anyway, so not a big deal. I am also going to be starting uh, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire today. Um, I started rereading Harry Potter for like just before the Owls readathon because I was reading a couple of them for the Owls, um, and then I just I haven't carried on with it since. So I'm going to read this and hopefully I can finish it before the end of the week. So then I'll have read two books in May because uh, the only thing I've read so far this month is Good Girl Bad Blood by Holly Jackson um, yeah basically because like I read all of April yeah April um, and now it's May so I've just taken May off reading kind of uh, but you know I'll be back on I'm trying to get back on my reading game now so yeah I've decided I'm gonna sew and I think I have loads of patterns here these two I actually got a magazine from Asda and they just had two free patterns with them. So I got two free patterns with a magazine, which is pretty sick. Um, but I think today I'm going to try the trousers um, because I have two sets of fabric that... Well, I say fabric, I actually have duvet covers because uh, I can't go and buy fabric. So, you know, we just go to Asda and get duvets instead. I think I'm going to go for B, which is this one here. Um, mostly because I want to avoid doing as much elastic as possible so I'm gonna go for B. So yeah that's what I'm gonna work on today. Honestly cutting out patterns takes me so long uh, because I have Tourette's and it's my right hand um, demonstrating itself very nicely there. Um, it always seems like I'm faking it but it's because um, talking about it makes it worse um, but yeah because obviously I'm then right-handed so then I, I like I'm so careful when I'm cutting things out uh, one because I don't want to stab myself um, and two because I get very upset when I destroy things accidentally and also like the patterns they're like it's like tissue paper like I don't know if you've ever seen a sewing pattern before but like it is literally tissue paper so yeah not not great when you're incredibly clumsy have no motor skills because you're autistic and also have Tourette's in your dominant hand but I make it work. <laughs> also, just a little side note before we carry on, I'm like totally bored of this hair, so leave some suggestions down below on what I can do with it. Obviously I can't go to the hairdressers at the moment. Um, I was originally gonna be dyeing it brown for the uh, road trip I had planned, but obviously that is not happening at the moment. Um, and I am still gonna be dyeing it brown when I do the road trip, but that won't be till next year. So I wanna do something else with it in the meantime, uh, but I don't know what. <laughs> I was thinking blue, but I find blue hair dye really hard to find because like I don't want like dark blue, I want like electric blue if that makes sense. So if you know where I can get good quality electric blue hair dye then please leave the link down below. 
because <laughs> I want to dye my hair again. Anyway, on to sewing. Thursday. Um, as I just said, it's almost midday, so the day is like half gone already, which was not plan, but you know. <laughs> so over, I actually, I have no idea when the last time I spoke to you was, I think it might have been Monday, or possibly Tuesday, who knows, <laughs> not me. Um, but basically since then I have been spending some time working on the trousers I said I was going to work on. Um, before I talk too much about that, I did just want to share something really funny. So since obviously I can't go out and buy fabric because of lockdown, um, we be I've been buying like duvet covers and using them as fabric. But <laughs> I had a real autistic moment on Monday evening because I wanted to open the duvet cover to just have a look, have a feel of the fabric to see what I was working with. And on the back, I don't know if you can see that, but it says please do not open. Now. Obviously, in hindsight, it means don't open when you're in the shop just to like feel it and then leave it open because that's annoying and rude and inconsiderate, right? But my autistic brain <laughs> read that as I'm just not allowed to open it, full stop, ever. Like, you just have to leave it in the package and it's just for looking at. And it took me like a good few minutes to figure out that no, that's not what it meant, stop being a moron. <laughs> So yeah, I found that quite amusing, uh, and that was that was a real autistic highlight of the week. But yeah, once I'd um, figured out that it wasn't just illegal to open my duvet cover, um, I opened it, and I have um, I've cut out all the pieces. It took me a lot longer than uh, my mum's top pieces did because trousers are a lot more complicated, and also I'm like really tall, <laughs> so I, all the leg pieces are really long, and it's really hard to cut them out because I don't. Like, my room is very long and thin, and so I can only cut them from, like, straight on, so then I have to, like, carefully fold it and pull it more towards me, if that makes sense. So it's quite tricky to cut out, and also the fabric creases very easily, so I have to be really careful. So it has taken me a lot longer, but I am going to try and get a bit done on it today, probably. <laughs> I have also written the blog post that's going up oh, tomorrow. Um, I can't believe it's almost Thursday, like, it's gonna be June next week. Um, but yeah, I've written that, that was the review for Good Girl's Guide to Murder and Good Girl Bad Blood. I had so much fun writing it, um, and it reminded me just how much I love the books and now I want to reread them. But I'm not gonna be that ridiculous. Um, speaking of reading, actually, I have been reading Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire this week, and I finished it last night. Um, uh, I was, like, three chapters away from the end at, like, nine o'clock, so I was like, well, I can't put it down now. So yeah, I finished that. Um, I will be moving on to Order of the Phoenix. This is the second time I've reread it this year and I don't regret anything. <laughs> but yeah, I will. I'm just going to really quickly finish my Harry Potter readathon and then I'll move on to some other books. Don't really know what those other books are going to be yet, um, but I'm sure you'll find out in my June TBR. Yes. <laughs> which will go up next week on my book blog, so you can subscribe to that if you want to see what I'm reading in the coming months, or hopefully reading, because no promises. <laughs> so before I leave you and just carry on with sewing, um, I did just want to update you on how I'm doing. So obviously if you watch the video that I put up on Monday, um, then you'll know sort of, you know, the vlog's changing a little bit, I'm like, I've got some steady goals to work towards, and I'm actually like, it's worked really well so far. 
Um, obviously, you know, the situation still isn't ideal. Um, it's far from it actually, but um, I am I'm a lot happier now that I've got things to work on. And, you know, it's still frustrating not being able to do all the things I want to, but like, you know, Starbucks drive through is open again, which has been a huge step in the right direction. Although it is annoying because I actually have to go with my mum rather than just sending her over the road because the drive through is the other side of my city, so I can't just send her because it'll be cold by the time I get back, which is very annoying. So I have to get dressed every time I want a Starbucks, which is just not on really, but you know, it's better than nothing. Yeah, but basically I have just been much happier now that I have, you know, goals to work towards and I've sort of gotten over myself, if that makes sense. But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna carry on sewing my trousers now. I have no idea how far I'll get, um, but we'll see. <laughs> Saturday and I have many things to tell you. So I did nothing yesterday because I barely slept at all Thursday night which meant I was in no fit state to do anything yesterday. Um, so that's exactly what I did. <laughs> um, I read a little bit of Harry Potter. I am on Order of the Phoenix now which is an incredibly hefty book. Um, I'm, I'm actually like 100 pages in so like I'm doing fairly well but you know that's like literally all I did yesterday <laughs> because I was very tired. Um, I'm still rather tired but less tired than yesterday which is something I guess. Um, before I tell you anything else though I got up, I got two, two things in the mail yesterday actually. Um, they're not hugely exciting but I wanted to share them anyway. <laughs> so the first thing I got was a hoover. <laughs> I have a handheld hoover right. I've been wanting one of these for like four years or something ever since my my grandparents my nanny she has a handheld hoover and it's so cool because like the big ones they're so heavy and you know big so like I can't just keep a full-on hoover in my room right uh, and also it's obviously like a family hoover so I bought myself with my own money my own personal handheld hoover so this is my hoover <laughs> and it's also small so now I can like hoover up the dust on my windowsill which I still haven't done but I will do should I do it now actually? I'm gonna do it now. <laughs> it's so cool! <laughs> There we go, I hoovered my windowsill. So there we go, that was a very quick <laughs> uh, view of my handheld hoover and how it works. It works very well. <laughs> Apparently this is a uh, hot, hot, hot life or whatever one. I'll put it in the description if you care. Um, you, know, you know you're getting older when you like get excited about household items. I'm actually like low-key, not, not even low-key actually, quite high-key, really excited about when I finally get my own place, buying my own like, dinner plates and cutlery and things <laughs> because like I mean there's nothing wrong with our dinner plates and cutlery they're just boring and like not aesthetic <laughs> so I'm really excited to have my own aesthetic dining plates that's that's really nerdy <laughs> you know anyway now I've showed you my hoover the other thing I got in the mail was um <laughs> I feel a little bit weird showing you this but it was actually some period underwear um, I will be doing a whole like autism review on this. Uh, we just bought the one for now because um, I'm not going to go into loads of detail now but basically I have really heavy painful periods and there's a name for it but it's like a really really long word and I cannot say it. Basically they've always been a problem and I'm on the pill so like I only have, and I, I, like, I run the packs together so I only have like four periods a year so basically I have them like every season as opposed to every month uh, which is you know better but anything above zero is too many in my opinion. Um, you know, we we bought these because we just wanted to try them out basically. Because you know, I mean, there's really nothing I can do about the fact that I have to bleed, like there's nothing I can do about that. Um, but one of the things that always really annoyed me was um, I don't use tampons, I always use pads, but they are so uncomfortable and so I get no sleep while I'm on my period at all, which then it basically turns into like a three week thing because I have my actual period week and then it takes me about two weeks to actually catch up on sleep and what I've been doing and energy and not being a grumpy bitch anymore, you know? <laughs> so, which is why I don't have them every month because if it takes three weeks to get over it, then I never get over it because then there's another one, so. 
basically I'm hoping that these will help with the fact that I can't sleep. Uh, we just ordered the one to test the size um, and they are actually perfect size. We can't order any more at the moment because my size and style are out of stock at the moment, which is very annoying, but we will be ordering more. And when we do, um, whenever I have my next period, don't know when that will be, um, because, but whenever I do, I will be doing a whole like vlog sort of autism reviews style thing um, because I think it's important that we talk about periods because they're a very normal thing um, and it's, I mean, they are disgusting, like, <laughs> people aren't wrong when they say they're disgusting, um, but also there's not a reason not to talk about them, because, I mean, if they think they're disgusting, then, like, imagine having one, you know? Because it is disgusting. <laughs> you know, like, over half the population have them, so probably time we talk about them. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to share that, and I will be doing another video on that. So, on to today. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna go out very quickly, um, I've got 10 minutes to finish up vlogging because uh, we're going out at 10, my mum's gonna go for a walk, uh, we're gonna drive up to our local lake and she's gonna go for a walk and I'm gonna sit in the car and I'm gonna try and get some blog posts written, I want to get my June TBR written and maybe start another blog post of some kind, don't know what yet but maybe, um, and then I may or may not go for a walk depending on it, how lazy I'm feeling basically. Um, and then, I don't know, I don't really have loads of plans for the rest of the day, I just want to try and get a blog post written and then I may try and finish the trousers I was making. I've made pretty good progress on them, um, as you may have gathered from the time lapses. Um, I'm pretty much at the point where I just need to actually like sew the legs and the crotch together at this point, so like I'm nearly done with them, so I might try and finish that today. But other than that, I'll probably just be like reading and chilling. Playing some Animal Crossing, you know? But yeah, I've been talking for long enough. I'm gonna go and do some writing while my mum goes for a walk and I'll catch up with you afterwards. Okay, it's Sunday, it's the end of the week. I'm not in the best mood. Um, mostly I'm just tired. Um, I'm always like, this is the end of the week. I'm tired, I need time to recharge. Um, so, you know, <laughs> I do need to end out the vlog though, which is why I'm here. So one of my main aims for this week was to sort of try out this new thing I'm doing where you know, I've got all these little projects that aren't my original goals, but are still relevant to those goals. And it's going well so far. Um, I haven't made load of, loads of progress in sort of the businessy area of my goals, because um, I'm still trying to take it a little bit easy. However, I have finished making a pair of trousers. <laughs> so I like I made these trousers. They got back pockets, and they have functioning side pockets and everything. I made them from scratch um, and I'm very proud of them. <laughs> you know, I mean, they're not like the best thing in the world, but like they're pretty damn good, you know? So yeah, I may, I may not have done a million productive things this week, but I made a whole pair of trousers from scratch, which is pretty impressive in my book, so you know. Um, I also, I finished reading Goblet Fire this week and I'm now on to Order of the Phoenix. Uh, which is a very big book. I am 232 pages in and I'm on chapter 13. Um, obviously it's huge. I'm hoping to finish this within the next couple of days um, and then I'm going to do like a mini readathon of uh, Half Blood Prince and Deathly Hallows because I want to get through them so that I can read some other books because <laughs> uh, this is kind of like an unintended Harry Potter reread so I do just kind of want to push through them. So yeah that's where I'm at with my reading. I've made a pair of trousers um, and really that's kind of the main thing I've done this week. I've done a few other things, like I wrote a couple of blog posts, um, did a few other random stuff in between, but mostly my project for this week was making my trousers, uh, which I have done. So, big tick. <laughs> I'm going to talk about my aims for next week in more detail in next week's vlog, but just to give you an idea about what's coming, um, I'm hoping to do a few more businessy things, so I'm going to try and take some courses on Skillshare, um, to sort of, uh, I think I might try digital drawing. Um, you know, I'm sort of going to try and put some more focus on social media and as I said, I'm also going to be reading a lot of Harry Potter, so that's kind of vaguely what's coming next week, but I haven't fully planned it out yet, so I'll tell you that tomorrow or next week for you guys. <laughs> so yeah, that's really all I have to say and it's the end of the vlog now, so I hope you enjoyed, I hope you like the new sort of style of vlog, uh, which is slightly more goal focused, I guess, 
let me know down below tell me if there's anything else you want me to do or if you don't want me to do um, and I will take it all on board like it if you did enjoy it subscribe for more um, there'll be lots more videos coming um, I do weekly vlogs and I'm hoping to do a couple of readathon vlogs as well um, I'm not gonna like spoil too much of the surprise but I'm planning a few readathon vlogs um, as well as a couple of other videos that will correspond with my personal blogs so keep a look out for those comment down below and tell me what you've been doing this week and other than that I will see you in the next video.